Hi, how are you this evening? Uh, how's your day been? A little misty out, kind of damp, uh, kind of chilly. Uh, I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm, I'm waiting for the summer to come. <laughs> I'm, I'm not real good at waiting. Uh, I'll tell you another thing I'm not good at. I'm not good at uh, um, trusting the Lord when I should be trusting the Lord. Uh, so, uh, and, and you know, maybe you have that sort of problem from time to time too. Um, you know, the, uh, we were talking a little bit this morning about uh, our relationship with God and uh, sometimes, you know, what happens if we make a mistake and, you know, is God disappointed? Is he mad at us? And, uh, you know, it's easy as we go through life to think that somehow God needs us. Somehow God depends on us. And that if we don't do what we think he wants us to do, that he's disappointed, that he's let down, and now that thing's not taken care of, whatever it might be. Uh, so I want to talk to you for just a few minutes about that, on whether or not God depends on us. Uh, I've got some big red robe tea here. It's a new long, uh, it's a rich tea. Um, hopefully not a lot of caffeine, I don't think it does. I guess I'll find out a little bit later on this evening. Uh, but get yourself something to relax with and uh, turn in your Bibles to Psalm 62. Psalm 62. Now David wrote this psalm and he'd been under attack. Um, life has been difficult for him. Uh, he's kind of got enemies all around him, and so he's struggling. And uh, he, he doesn't know what the outcome will be. And so we see this in verse 5. For God alone, O my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from him. He is, my, he is my rock and my salvation. My fortress, I shall not be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory. My mighty rock, my refuge is God. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. So, David's in a tough situation. Um, he uh, may be feeling a little bit impatient. Uh, he tells his soul to calm down, to wait in silence, a uh, reminder that the only hope he has comes from God. Um, God's hope is not in David. God's, David's hope is in God. Uh, God's his rock. He's salvation. He's a fortress. He won't be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory, my mighty rock, my refuge is God, he says. Now, I want you to just think about this for a second, because David's salvation and glory rests in God. And God is a mighty rock. God is not depending on David. David is depending on God. Uh, now, and the reason, the reason this sort of idea is here is that it, it's a chase away the idea that somehow we have failed God, somehow we have dropped the ball, and that God is sitting in heaven going, oh gosh, I wasn't, I wasn't counting on this. I thought John would do his job, and he didn't, and now there's nobody to fill it in. Uh, he's the one we run to as a refuge. He's the one that we trust. He's the one where our hope is. And so, we can't disappoint God because God's not depending on us for anything. We're depending upon him. And that becomes our witness. That becomes our testimony. That becomes a billboard to the world that we can depend upon God because he is faithful. And he is true. When we trust in him, he will not disappoint us. He wants to reveal his glory through you and me, brothers and sisters. And as I said earlier, he's not looking for our perfection. He's looking for our hearts. And when we turn to him and depend solely upon him, he's faithful and true, and he blesses. He can bless us even in the middle of a, of a time like this. So let that close your day. Uh, close your eyes and ponder God's faithfulness. Ponder the fact that we can run to him, that he can be our refuge, that we can depend on him 
in all things. I love you. I miss you. I'll see you in the morning.